Olive oil for dessert? Hmm, it's not usually what you think of with dessert, but it's actually delicious and it's a healthy change of heart. Most of us use olive oil. I use it all the time in salad dressing and pasta and meat dishes. But with the amazing health benefits, maybe we should think about using it more creatively. So today we've invited Jerry Pellegrino, who's such a great chef. Uh, he's uh, the special chef for Pompeian olive oil and the executive chef of Baltimore's Waterfront Kitchen. So welcome back. Good to be here. I was Always looking forward to you coming because yeah. I love cooking with you. Yeah. Uh, Pompeian. Yeah, this is a great company. It's over 100 years old. It's based uh -huh. in Baltimore. It was the first company to introduce olive oil into the American market. This was the first company that brought olive oil here to yeah, America? Yeah, 1906. Really? Yeah, I, in I'm Baltimore. I'm sure there was some Italians in there somewhere, huh? Always. And the thing is, um, unlike all the other large companies, um, we do all the bottling here in this country. So we use sip bulk olive oil over, uh -huh. which keeps it uh, fresher, it uh -huh. protects it rather than being susceptible to light or, or sort of heat damage in bottles. And so we get a fresh product every time we bottle. Well, we were talking about that, that um, you can, it does degrade if it is. Over it's... time, it's light sensitive and heat sensitive. Right. So these small packages, you can use it up and keep getting fresh stuff every time. Right. This yeah. is delicious tasting olive oil, by the way. And, it's, and organic. And, and, and organic, right, which, which is, is so very important. Uh, resonant with this show and the message of this show. But the taste of the olive oil is so important. A lot of people think olive oil is olive oil is olive oil. Uh, yeah, but that's but definitely not the case. Right. In fact, we buy year-round from both hemispheres because uh -huh. the harvest in the winter here is not happening. So down in the southern hemisphere, they're harvesting olives, and oh. we're getting fresh olive oil from them and blending it together. So we're always bottling fresh stuff. That's interesting. Okay, let's cook, Jerry. Okay, let's cook. So um, the dessert we're going to do is a white wine poached pear. Yum. Pear is definitely in season. It's always fun. Um, so peeled pears, and uh -huh. we have some white wine. Okay, you can pour do? more. Yeah, All put right. some more wine in All there, right. and okay. we're going to add some some flavor ingredients to the wine. Okay, so um, we so got a little bit of uh, white wine here. Yeah, what yeah. would we say? About a cup? Yeah, yeah. That looks about like two cups. Enough to cover the okay. pears. It's all we're worried okay. about. Okay. Yeah, you can all go. Right. You can go. All right. Star anise. Uh huh. Whole cinnamon. Uh huh. Vanilla bean and lemon peel. Okay. All for you to put right in. Now, do we have to open this? Um, It'll just, be fine. Okay. It's going to okay. add plenty of flavor. All right. You can reuse that, of course. Okay. Look. Okay. All this is going to add flavor to the wine. Okay. Sure. Is. Some lemon juice yeah. and some raw sugar. Okay. okay. And then we've peeled these pears and um, just raw sugar. Okay. Raw sugar and then um, core out the bottoms with a, a lemon ball. Or, Are you doing or that with a spoon? A spoon? Yeah, because um, don't we I, need some like fancy thing to core? No, 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 you don't have to. And right, I find the seeds make thing? it very bitter. If yeah, you oh, with interesting. The seeds so taking them out before the pears go in, you get a sweeter result. Interesting. Okay, seedless. Yeah, seeds are out. I wish you could. We had smell a vision. This right. smells so pears great in here. The, in the wine. Okay, now how long are we going to cook We're these gonna pears? We're going to let them simmer for about an hour. Okay. And they're going to get uh, very soft and darken up in color. These okay. are ones we have in poached, and these are the okay. ones that are poached. Okay. So um, once they look soft to the touch and they've darkened up, they're done. How beautiful. You can strain the liquid out and reserve that if you want and uh -huh. use that for something else. But these are ready to go. What would you use that liquid for? You can cook it down and it becomes a syrup. And you can use it as dessert Ooh. or over ice cream. It's all pear flavored with deliciousness. Oh, how right? wonderful. So yeah. Um, instead of doing like custard mm. with a lot of cream and stuff, mm -hmm. we made a very, what's almost like a vinaigrette out of... Um, uh, the olive oil and some egg yolks and added uh -huh. a lot of lemon and sugar. Okay, and so how could it be bad? Very healthy sort of way to olive go. Olive oil, very interesting. You're using olive oil instead of the cream. Instead of the cream. Okay. And so just a little bit. I'm not, whoop. you know, as I've told you, I'm not adverse to cream. Right. But I, the idea of using olive oil is very intriguing to and me. And I think you'll, I think when you taste this, Look how he does it. Texture. See, chefs do things. You put on their <laughs> schmoosh that around. Right. And then we candy some. Here comes some, the Yeah, we candy a little bit of uh, hazelnuts. Jerry Picasso. <laughs> you took hazelnuts and what'd you do? And just melted down some sugar into a, into like a real caramel and threw the nuts in and just chop them up. That's it. And, and then you kind of dry so it and, and like it chop right it up like it's brittle. Chop it up. It's brittle. That's what it is. They're just candy nuts that are on here. And boom, you're done. Well, that kind of takes us into the cavatelli dish. This okay. is um, fresh ricotta cavatelli mm. that we have sauteed with heirloom tomatoes, um, fresh basil, and a lot of organic olive oil. Okay. And then a uh, little bit goat cheese at the end just to make a very simple starter or even a lunchtime dish. Yeah, I'm can, just, can I have yes, a little taste? Yes, of course, of course. You know me, I'm an eater. I know, I know. I'm one of those. And a tomato, that's the whole, okay. that's just really mm. perfect. Oh, those are great flavors. Too. Yeah, 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 mm. especially when the tomatoes are ripe. Oh. And then mm. we did a chicken dish that we um, made a mm. sauce mm -hmm. by reducing some wine um, and some vinegar and then adding in olive oil and Dijon mustard. Is this uh, uh, balsamic vinegar? Yeah, we used some balsamic, cooked it down. Okay, so you, how'd you do the chicken? Roasted it with just a little olive oil in the pan. Right. Put the skin side down, get the skin brown, 
And then when mm -hmm. we took it up, we threw fresh rosemary underneath it, flipped okay. it over, and roasted it in the oven with the rosemary to get all that flavor into okay. the chicken. Okay, so you first start pan frying it. Pan frying okay. the skin so it's crispy. All right. Now you take the uh, if you take it out of the oven. Now you uh, take the juices from the bottom of the pan, and that's how you get the great sauce. That's right. We put that in with the vinegar. Um, cook it down, olive oil, and Dijon mustard to thicken it. And then to make the rice fun, we cooked it in Earl Grey tea. Oh. Because I like the tannins oh. from the tea, and we also threw in some dried cherries to add a little fruitiness. Oh. So you've got the tea flavor with some rosemary and cherries in this wild rice. And this organic wild rice comes out of Canada. It's really nice stuff. Oh, is it ever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's so like, much got healthy. A chewy. It's got a texture. Right. Yeah, without a that doubt. That is yummy. Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. Where can we get these recipes? Uh, Pompeian.com. Very oh. easy. On the website, you can find tons of recipes. All the products are mm. there. There's a lot of information. I'm going to go there tonight. Okay, thanks so much. I love cooking with you. Always a pleasure. And if I'm in Baltimore, you're coming to do Waterfront I, Kitchen. I will. And why, do I get like really uh, extra you special Jerry uh, treatment? You get the treatment. Okay, all right. <laughs> thanks a lot. You're we'll welcome. be back.